What up, folks? Welcome back to UltraZilla Toys, and today I have a review of the Power Rangers Legacy. Power Rangers Zeo, Zeo Red. Alright gang, back into the Power Rangers Legacy line. I just got this guy in a couple of days ago, and um, or a day ago. It's all blending together. And I thought I'd give him a quick reel. I was gonna wait for Blue to come in, but then it got delayed. There's a lot of delays going on at Amazon, at Target. A lot of my orders are getting delayed. Not happening to you guys? Chime in below with that because I find that very interesting. Um, so I was gonna wait and do uh, red and blue together, but he's not coming till next week, and I wanted to bang out this review because it's easy. It's an easy one, and we're gonna start with articulation where the legacy figures are pretty good at. Head is on a uh, hinge and a little swivel there. And there's like more movement at the neck, so you got a really great range of motion in the neck. Hinge swivel at the shoulder. Bicep swivel, which is a little bit ugly, but it's not so bad. Uh, double jointed elbow, which really doesn't work too well because of this part here. And then you got a hinge swivel combo at the wrist, which is good. You got an ab crunch there that doesn't go too far. You got waist swivel legs are awesome probably the best to do the splits kicks that much not that much back neck it's a little ugly up there but you can move it all around in there and then you have the thigh cut again kind of like the you know uh bicep you got this big big cut in there the double jointed knee works very well is that boot cut i forget no boot cut there hinge swiveling rocker action at the foot so pretty good articulation for these guys uh, which I like which I like a lot uh, then you got his like zeo weapons which forgive me I forget their names uh, right now I know I know these but we'll call it a zeo blaster <laughs> can't be that far off <laughs> it looks pretty good uh, black red white Sculpt is decent. You know, you got you got two colors of paint on there on top of the white. So, I mean, you really can't complain. It really looks good. And there's been a lot of complaining with these guys, obviously, because, you know, um, Bandai America has lost the license. Hasbro's going to be taken over. And I really can't wait for, to, to see what they do with them. It'll be very interesting to see if they give us like uh, like articulated figures like this, which a lot of people are hoping for, or what they do. I'm not sure. I don't want to speculate. We shall see. We got this here, uh, which I, keep, I think it forms a Zeo blade or something. Um, but it's really good looking. I'm just drawing blanks on this one. <laughs> but you know what? That doesn't mean you can't look at the toy and say if it's good or not. And it is nice because you got silver and you got gold there and on top of the blue. So you do, again, you know, you're not skimping on the paint on the weapons, which is nice, which will look good. And you could put that in his hand, uh, you know, like so, so that works. So yeah, not bad, not bad. And they fit in these little holsters decently, you know, these peg in. So that's pretty good. Now, looking at the actual sculpt, I mean, we've seen these, you know, these Power Ranger Legacy bodies from the beginning. They're just, they're, they are what they are, you know. It's a very basic sculpting on the uh, actual body. And then you get, you know, whatever different like helmets and accoutrements that the armors might have uh which is good but it does get a little boring and i think had they not uh lost the license i probably was gonna be out uh after zeo and but you know or dino thunder whatever but um you know i i'm going to the end uh, i guess <laughs> at this point so might as well. Uh, I do want the Megazords. I do want the Megazord Builder figures. And they do come with Megazord Builder figure parts, which we don't look at in these reviews. I will look at the Megazord separately, you know, when it's all complete. So, 
You got the nice armor here. That looks really good. The gold looks really nice. As we know, we've had some problem with gold, uh, but it looks really good up here on the collar. It's just a fantastic looking sculpt. It looks really good. The head is pretty good. The star looks really nice. He's like Starman from Pro Wrestling. <laughs> Any us? <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, I'm old. Sorry. <laughs> But uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. You do see a little bit of mouth in there. That looks decent or silly. I don't know. It looks fine to me. Then around here on the gauntlets, it looks pretty okay. Um, feels a little soft. And of course you get like this not so gold. <laughs> um, pieces around on the belt. The belt looks all right, you know. That's gold. Uh, that's gold, you know, gold-ish. I'm not, I, you know, if you saw my review of this guy, I don't care about it that much. Well, this, I guess, is a little more gold than this now that I have them together. Or is it the same? I think it's the same. I don't think this is that bad. Some people have a lot of problems. They wanted all of this, and I get that. Um, but... But I don't mind it. I'm not paying to mine. So, um, but yet yeah, all of this color would have been nice. It would have just made it really cool. Um, I got enough things to do, guys. I don't want to paint my figures. <laughs> so I'm not a customizer, you know. Like if if it's not right the first time, it's not my fault. <laughs> um, I gotta move on. I gotta move on. <laughs> but yeah, overall, oh, uh, and the legs. You got this, you know, sculpting on the legs. Boots look okay. You know. This is the best part. And the head sculpt. To me. But decent enough to add to your collection, I guess. You know, uh, they are pretty cool figures overall. There's no doubt about it. You know, I mean, the teams look cool together. Let's bring in uh, the Gold Ranger once again. If you take a look at that, how he looks there. We got... Uh, Dino Thunder Blue here, so you can see how they all look together. Not bad, not bad at all. Then we'll bring in some other folks for some other size comparisons. We got Black Series Darth Vader. We have Forager Class Optimus from Studio Series. We have uh, Rebirth spawn and Commando spawn. A couple spawns since they're still on the table here. The Storm Collectibles Noob Sabot, the bloody version, and a little reaction. So there you go. There's your size comparisons, and that's my review for this guy. You know, it's it, it's not sloppy or anything. It looks good. The gold up here looks great. You kind of wish there was more of that going on on the figures, but there isn't. So we know that already. You know, it's up to you whether you want to get them. Of course, this line is not going to be continuing for too much longer. So I don't know what else we're going to get. They were, they did announce the Psycho Rangers. I'm not sure if those are coming. If you guys know any different, um, you let me know. I don't know if they said they were going to go ahead and actually make them. So, uh, or maybe they made them already, for all I know. But I do know the rest of the Zio figures. Uh, Blue's coming in next week for me, and then uh, I will, you know, I, I will have to get the, the the female Rangers at GameStop, apparently. They're going to be GameStop exclusives, so pre-orders are up for those if you want to go to GameStop and order them. All right, and I will be continuing with the Dino Thunder as well and get those two series done at least. All right, so definitely more uh, Power Rangers Legacy figures to come on the channel. So please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Let me know your thoughts on this. Anything else you want to talk about with Power Rangers, what the future holds, or whatever, please do so in the comments below. Until next time, peace out, peeps.